Well, good afternoon and welcome to Wendy Hill Kennel. Today is the 27th of July. This is Monday. And this is Judy's kids. So Judy's kids finally have their eyes open. Um, and they're doing great. All this litter is sold if you're seeing this on YouTube and wondering if there's anything available. There's not. I'm sorry. Um, if you are watching the video and you're not normally on our channel, if you hit the subscribe button at the top of my YouTube page, this will send you a notice on your email every time we post, yeah, post, post a puppy's video or videos of a litter. Um, and I always post to YouTube first and then I move it to the website. So they're just starting to get a little bit ambulatory. They're a little bit wobbly on those four legs, but they're going like, where are we? This is not familiar. And um, they're gonna get a bath uh, probably tomorrow. Uh, the girls are bathing right now and doing some of the moms. So uh, these guys are gonna get a bath. They're gonna get their faces trimmed. Um, so they won't have very good eye quality to see today. But once we trim their face and we scoop out their eyes, because right now the hair is growing right back over their eyes uh, like a schnauzer does. And once we trim it, you can see their eyes much, much easier. So I'm kind of hoping, I'm letting them kind of get settled down because it's going to be really hard without collars on to keep track of who we've done and who we haven't done. So I'm going to start with the boys. Uh, now I'm going to leave the boys to last. So, and there's two Merle girls. The biggest thing is the four spotted black and whites. So we're going to start with them. I'm going to leave the domino dot lat till last. And I think we're going to start over here. So this way it will make it much easier. These are all girls, as you know, um, except for the two boys, this one and this one. Um, so this is a pretty easy litter. Although we had a litter yesterday that was born with all boys and one girl. So Grace has had her puppies. 30351 is the microchip on this puppy. And this is a female. She's got really nice black markings. She needs her toenails cut today. She's like, I'm panicking, my eyes are open. So the week their eyes open, they get a little bit uh, intimidated with new location. They're used to just the cubicle with their mom and their whelp box. So we're usually really pretty easy with them this week because um, this is a way out of their ballpark, something new they've never experienced or seen. So this little girl's got really pretty markings, and she's doing really, really super good. So let's see what she weighs. She is one pound, 12.2 ounces. Oh, I know. Now, if I can get her to settle down, let me cover her eyes up. Usually when you cover their eyes up, they calm back down. There you go, I know. I want to get around here where you can see her eyes. So I'll see if Haley can get you a video of, uh, with her eyes open. So my granddaughter's here today shooting my videos. Vanessa and Brittany are grooming. And Haley had the day off, so we combated her to shoot videos today. All right, so this is another female. This one I think is the maybe the biggest female. Um, she is also black and white spotted. I gotta keep track of where this one goes. <laughs> so this one has uh, two really nice big black spots on her back and she has a beautiful mask on her face. And while she's quiet, I'm gonna hold her up here and see if you can see her eyes. I will get you new pictures this week. Oh, don't swallow my fingers. I'll get you new pictures this week so you can see their eyes open on their pictures. And uh, I think we'll probably do it the day they get a bath which they really need a bath. Make sure I gave you, no, nope. this is 30352 is the microchip on this one. All right, let's see what you weigh. I know you're just still back here fretting. Two pounds, 1.4 ounce. You're gonna dismount, it's gonna be a little bit tough, so let me get you. All right, so I did you, I'm gonna set you back here. So I have another black and white. Okay, those two are done. Oh my goodness sake, I got the dot left in this one. So we're good. All right, this one's really starting to show some curls on her hair. She's got nice waves down her hair. 30354 is her microchip number. And she's got the half white and half black face. Not quite a yin yang, but are your eyes open? 
She says, it's so bright in this room. They don't open them really, really full, and they're not used to this much bright light. They're in a kennel, but it has filtered windows, and they're up high under the eaves, so they don't have the bright, bright light that they're getting in here today on the sun porch. All right, she is, you're all right. One pound, 14 ounces, right on the button. All right, and I got one more left of the black and whites. And I think she's the domino baby. Yep, this is the domino. Oh, where are you guys going? No, we gotta stay here. We gotta stay here. She says, I really don't wanna get up and do this. She said, I'm sleeping so nicely. She said, I don't wanna wake up. No, I just wanna go to sleep. Can you just leave me alone? I love this age. They really don't care what you do to them as long as you're gentle with them. But anyway, she's sound asleep, but we're gonna wake her up here in a minute. She's got the domino on her eye, on top of her, <laughs> on her eye. She has the domino on top of her head. Oh, I hear ya. Uh, nose is starting to turn black. She's got the black side of her face, and then this side's got a little bit of white around her eye. I hear you, Rhino. She's got really pretty zigzag Zorro mark on her back. Can you wake up and show me your eyes? All right, I'm gonna wake you up. Yep, can you wake up? We're gonna pet ya. She says, oh, this was a rude awakening. Can you wake up? Oh, there's two peepers, if we can get her to keep open for a second. So she's got her two little eyeballs open. And let me get a microchip nibber. Somebody doesn't smell very good. Let's, we're not doing that, I forgot the paper towels. 30355 is her microchip number. My luck, she'll potty when I walk around. One pound, 11.2 is her weight today. I turn it around. She said, I am wide awake now. So if her eyes weren't open before, they're open now. She says, oh, put me down. All right, let's put you down. Go back to sleep, no problem. Okay, so we got the two blue merle females. And we got the big one and the little one. This one is 30353, and she has got, are you sleeping? Yeah, I'm sound asleep too. She's got a really pretty coat. She's a big girl. Got lots of nice color. And are you sleeping? Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Can you wake up? She says, no, I can't. Can you wake up? peek there's that eye peek and I see it. She, well, I don't know if she's gonna open them or not. We're gonna kind of stimulate her a little bit and wake her up. Oh, maybe there's little creeper peepers sticking out there, but not very much. She said, I'm so tired. At this age, it's just eat, sleep, and go to the bathroom and nurse. That's their big big function in life right now. I know where you're going. You're trying to turn around. Are you trying to get on my lap? Is that what you're trying to do? It's warm. You went up here on my lap. There, come up there and lay down. It's warm. One pound, 15.8 ounces as of today. She says, yep, I'm going back to sleep. She just wanted a warm leg. There's still a little bit stuck to mom like a heater and uh, I know I'm not gonna hold you you have to go back over here with everybody else there you go dig in all right and the last <laughs> this one's mashed down in there this is the last little party Merle and she's got her eyes open she was just awake a minute ago and gonna go to sleep again I'll get you a microchip number on her but we'll get you some good eye pictures when I do their their weekly their bath, uh, 20358 is her microchip number. She's a little thing. See, I'm a little one. There, those eyes are open. She said, I'm not looking. I'm not looking, I refuse. All right, let's go down here. One pound, 7.6. I think she's the smallest in the litter. They went back in that hole in the center. All right, let's do the boys. Oh, you're yawning? Yep, you're yawning. The boys have their eyes open. I think they were one of the first ones to have their eyes open. This is 30356. This is the guy that does not have the white collar. He's just got the spot on one shoulder. And eyes are open if he'll look straight long enough for me to get you to see his eyes. He says, you're gonna yawn. You're not gonna yawn. No, you're not gonna yawn. All right, let's see what you weigh. Two pounds, 2.2 ounces today. Whoop, I'm about to drop you. Look up here for just one sec. You have big eyes open. You usually do. Yep, your eyes are open. I see them shining. 
your eyes are shining. All right, the last one's buried down here underneath everybody. He is everybody's pillow right now. Come over here, buddy. I know, he says, I don't want to wake up. I'm sound asleep. Yeah, see, I'm sound asleep. 30357 is the microchip. He's got the full white collar on his neck. Are you awake? This is kinda. Wake up. Let's scratch your back and get you awake. What do you think? Are you waking? Yeah, he's awake. Oh, he says, I don't want to be awake. These guys are really doing good. They've got nice coats coming. They're soft, shiny. Judy's a great mom. One pound, 12.6 ounces today. So they're all doing really good. You're really warm. Yes, you are. Um, I have posted on the dates that are being spayed and neutered and the date they can go home. If you know the dates you want to pick up and you have not called me, please do so. I sent out everybody's vitamin information. I sent out your puppy go home videos. Um, I sent out all that stuff this week. So if you did not receive your videos and your vitamin information, please shoot me a text and say, hey, I didn't get my stuff. Send me a current, a correct email address and I will resend them again because I sent everybody's out. Um, if you don't know the date you want to pick up yet, please kind of keep that in mind as um, I do like you to have your vet appointment within the first three days when you go home so you can have them vet checked and you know that they're healthy. And a good first vet check does a stool sample, checks their ears, checks their eyes, checks for hernias, uh, checks their coat. All those things should be done their first visit. And listen to their heart and their lungs and that type thing so that you know that they're healthy when they go home. Um, I do really stick to that guarantee and I really expect these guys to get in the first three days. Um, please don't take them around, show them all to your friends. Don't let them go have a puppy play date with somebody else's puppy. Parvo is so highly contagious. Um, you usually catch it and you're dead in seven days. So it is something that I, try, these guys are cold, that I try and warn everybody to please keep your puppies at home. Please don't take them all over the place. Don't take them into pet stores for Lord's sake and um, keep them in your own yard. Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> are you relaxing? Come on, that's good this way. Whoops, you fell off my lap. Two layers of carpet. Say we're tough, huh? Say we're tough. So just a couple things. Please listen to your videos before you come to pick up. That way you're going to know exactly what I would have told you and you can bring whatever questions you have that I don't answer for you. Where are we at? 13? Um, also, the, um, you know, something to remember is if you're coming a long way, please, if you have the room, put your crate in the car and bring the puppy home in your crate. You're not going to want to stop along the road at Roadside Rest, Burger Kings, Wendy's, McDonald's parks, any place like that that other dogs have been. They are not uh, safe from Parvo until they have their last puppy shot, which is usually between 16 and 18 weeks old. So you are just because they've had their first Parvo or second Parvo shot when they leave here, they are not safe from Parvo at all. So please keep that in mind when you're traveling with your puppy and try and make an accommodations for that. And I'll talk more about what to bring with you um, as far as for the trip home. If you are getting a puppy from this litter and you, leave, you live too far to come get it, or you've decided, well, first of all, if you bought a puppy, I you probably know you have to come get it. Or um, you can also hire a transport company. If you're interested, I have several people that are using a transporter that has had um, I've had some experience with because she has done it for other people up on especially on the East Coast so if you're interested and would like her cell phone number um, please text me and I will forward you Sabrina's number uh, she's very professional uh, she used to own a kennel she understands about disease and transferring disease and um, I'll be glad to connect you up with her so I hope you enjoyed their video if you have any questions at all um, please don't hesitate to give me a call and we'll do another video for you next week and I'll get you new pictures on one day this week since her eyes are open. So have a good one and we'll talk to you soon.